In late 2017, an object named Oumuamua was discovered with an unusual orbit that caused quite a stir among scientists and the public alike. Its origin seemed to be somewhere out in the emptiness between the stars, in interstellar space. This discovery alarmed scientists due to the object's potential impact on Earth and its mysterious nature, leading to various theories about its origins and purpose. Some suggested it could be an alien spacecraft or a probe sent to spy on us, while others speculated it might be an extraterrestrial comet with a more sinister mission. The term, alien probes, often evokes images of 1960s abduction tales, where extraterrestrial surgeons use surgical instruments to probe human subjects. Alternatively, it might bring to mind something like Oumuamua, a cigar-shaped interstellar interloper that slingshot around the center of our solar system, roughly 15 million miles from Earth. Scientists, including A.V.I. Lubb of Harvard University, have expressed interest in the possibility that Oumuamua could be a spacecraft from another planet. Lubb, who has a doctorate in plasma physics, has even explored the ocean floor for signs of extraterrestrial visitation and speculated that Oumuamua could be a spacecraft from another planet. Earth scientists have sent space probes like Voyager and New Horizons into space to gather data about space and other planets. However, the expertise necessary to send a probe into space and return to Earth is lacking, which is why astronomers and physicists are working to figure out how extraterrestrial spacecraft could navigate interstellar space and possibly contact Earth. They are also exploring how we could intercept their messages. The distance and time involved present significant obstacles for an extraterrestrial civilization's desire to send a probe to Earth. For instance, if extraterrestrial probes were dispatched from the Andromeda galaxy, our closest galactic neighbor, they would have a 2.5 million light-year journey ahead of them. Given that one light-year is equal to 6 trillion miles, this journey would be vast and extraordinarily lengthy. To return their probe to Earth before their civilization collapsed, extraterrestrials would need to travel at speeds greater than light. This raises questions about whether they might have figured out how to use theoretical wormholes, warp drive technology, or other technologies that we are currently unaware of by discovering new laws of physics. Even if they managed to decipher the code for the galactic speed restriction, they would still face challenges constructing probes that can endure the weathering effects of space radiation and debris. Creating novel materials with enhanced hardness and material toughness would be necessary for this task. For example, a material with high fracture toughness and high hardness, such as diamonds, would be ideal for impact resistance. In the fall of 2017, the tiny object named 1i, Oumuamua traveled through the inner solar system, passing close to the sun. Its historical significance lies in the fact that it was the first known object to have originated from a solar system other than our own. Astronomers designated it 1i, Oumuamua, with the 1i referring to it being the first interstellar object discovered in our solar system. Although the name is now commonly shortened to Oumuamua, astronomers had been anticipating the arrival of an interstellar object similar to it for quite some time. NASA's Associate Administrator for Science at the time of Oumuamua's discovery, Thomas Zerbuchan, stated in 2017 that they now had direct evidence that such interstellar objects exist. A second interstellar object, 2i, Borisov, was discovered in August 2019. However, Borisov appeared to be a typical comet, complete with a tail and coma the gaseous head surrounding an icy core. In contrast, Oumuamua stood out due to its remarkable lack of a tail and coma. Predictions of the existence of interstellar objects predate the discovery of Oumuamua, but it wasn't what astronomers had hoped for. The tiny, oddly shaped object didn't resemble a comet, yet it seemed to be outgassing as it went. The most prominent hypotheses center on the sublimation of hydrogen ice or nitrogen ice from other solar systems. Interstellar objects are propelled into space by the gravitational pull of gas giant planets or by massive collisions that tear protoplanets apart. Being the first known interstellar visitor, Oumuamua sheds light on the nature of other planetary systems outside of our solar system. Its form was also remarkable. At first glance, the object appeared to be ten times longer than it was wide, giving it the appearance of a large cylinder. The original measurements were 6.6 colon 1 but astronomers eventually adjusted them to more accurately depict a pancake form. The minor planet Arakoth, which the NASA New Horizons probe passed by on New Year's Day 2019, is one of several similarly shaped objects that astronomers have observed in the Kuiper belt beyond Neptune. The light curve, a graph that follows the object's brightness as it fell through space, was used to determine the dimensions and shape of Oumuamua. 
when we saw the wider side of Oumuamua, it seemed brighter. The exact stellar system from which Oumuamua came remains a mystery. Nevertheless, in 2018, researchers traced Oumuamua's return to its original route toward the Sun and discovered that one million years ago, the object passed close to four stars, with the red dwarf star HIP 3757 being its closest contact. It is possible that Oumuamua originated there or that it has been lost in space for a very long period of time. The solar system's planetary bodies, asteroids, and comets all follow tight orbits around the Sun. A NASA animation explains that Oumuamua's trajectory was hyperbolic, meaning that it approached the Sun at such a high speed that its route could only be minimally bent by the Sun's gravity rather than being captured in a looping circle. Oumuamua, which was moving at a relative speed of 16.36 miles per second as it passed our star, wasn't discovered until over a month later on October 19, 2017, when University of Hawaii astronomer Rob Warwick discovered it in observations made by the asteroid hunting pan stars, panoramic survey telescope and rapid response system. At that time, Oumuamua was 21 million miles from Earth, and its trajectory eventually brought it as close as 15 million miles from that point. The extraterrestrial guest has been making its way out of our solar system, with NASA detailing how Oumuamua was propelled to a speed of 54.2 miles per second by a gravity boost from the Sun. The window of opportunity to observe Oumuamua was minimal, lasting only a few weeks due to its small size and rapid motion away from Earth. The Hubble Space Telescope was the instrument that could follow it for the longest period. By merging data from two of the world's largest optical telescopes, the Very Large Telescope in Chile and the Gemini South Telescope, astronomers obtained the finest photos of Oumuamua, revealing the star as tiny as a speck. Now, while outside of Neptune's orbit, Oumuamua is making its way toward the constellation Pegasus. Our telescopes can no longer see it since it is whizzing by the Kuiper Belt, a ring of frozen objects close to the solar system's periphery. Could it still come back toward Earth? What if it's an alien probe? The exact nature of Oumuamua is still a matter of conjecture. We know it was an object ejected from a planetary system outside of our solar system, likely due to gravitational waves from roving gas giants. Before the discovery of Oumuamua, astronomers assumed that interstellar objects like 2 i Borisov would resemble comets. For a long time, they assumed that Oumuamua was just a dead comet whose volatiles, or gases with low boiling points like water, had evaporated over billions of years, either while it was still in its original system or while it was close to other stars. Since it didn't produce a cometary tail, Oumuamua's non-gravitational acceleration detected by the Hubble Space Telescope as it departed from the Sun was puzzling. Comets often emit water vapor and dust in a tail, providing them an additional boost. However, there was no indication that Oumuamua was releasing water or any of the other volatile substances typically seen on comets. Two popular theories about Oumuamua's nature have emerged. One theory, put forth by Arizona State University's Alan Jackson and Steve Desch, suggests that Oumuamua might be a piece of nitrogen ice that a massive impact blew off a Pluto-like body. They proposed this theory after New Horizons detected regions such as Sputnik Planitia that were essentially frozen nitrogen lakes in 2015. Ultimately, Oumuamua's discovery has sparked both scientific investigation and public imagination. Whether it is an alien probe or a natural interstellar object, its journey through our solar system has provided invaluable insights into the nature of other planetary systems and the potential for interstellar travel. As scientists continue to study Oumuamua and similar objects, they may uncover new information that deepens our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. In late 2017, a mysterious object named Oumuamua caused a sensation when it was first observed due to its unusual orbit and origin from interstellar space. Scientists were alarmed by its potential impact on Earth, with some suggesting it could be an alien battle spacecraft or a probe preparing to destroy humanity. The term, alien probes, often evokes images of 1960s abduction tales, but Oumuamua, a cigar-shaped interstellar visitor, captured scientists' attention due to its unique characteristics. It traveled through the inner solar system, passing close to the sun and raising questions about its origin and nature. Harvard University scientist A.V.I. Lub speculated that Oumuamua could be an extraterrestrial spacecraft. Earth scientists have launched space probes like Voyager and New Horizons, but the challenge lies in the vast distances and time required for interstellar travel. 
For instance, a probe from the Andromeda galaxy would need to travel 2.5 million light-years, a journey that would require speeds greater than light. Theoretical technologies like wormholes or warp drives might be necessary, but the construction of durable probes to withstand space radiation and debris is another hurdle. Umiwamiwa's unusual shape and behavior puzzled scientists. Initially, it appeared to be ten times longer than wide, resembling a large cylinder, but later measurements suggested a pancake shape. Its light curve, tracking brightness changes, helped determine its dimensions. Researchers traced Umiwamiwa's path back to four stars, with the red dwarf hip 3757 being its closest contact. Despite its origin being a mystery, it provided insights into other planetary systems outside our solar system. Unlike typical comets, Umiwamiwa lacked a tail and coma, leading to various hypotheses about its nature. One theory proposed that it was a chunk of nitrogen ice, while another suggested it was a solar-powered spacecraft. These theories aim to explain its non-gravitational acceleration, a phenomenon not seen in standard comets. Scientists speculated that solar radiation pressure could cause such movement if Umiwamiwa were as thin as 0.3 to 0.9 mm, possibly a light sail propelled by photons. This technology, demonstrated by probes like Japan's Ikaros and NASA's NanoSail, D2, could enable long interstellar journeys. The mystery of Umiwamiwa's origin and nature remains. Some researchers argue it could be an active spacecraft sent to study our solar system, while others see it as a piece of interstellar debris. Its discovery was an anomaly, suggesting that many such objects might exist in the Milky Way. Traditional chemical rockets cannot catch up with Umiwamiwa, but future missions using small robotic probes with sails could potentially reach it. Projects like Breakthrough Starshot aim to launch such vessels, enabling closer examination of interstellar visitors. While catching Umiwamiwa may not be feasible, its visit provides valuable lessons for future observations. Scientists are encouraged to scrutinize other intriguing objects, preparing for the next interstellar traveler. The return of Umiwamiwa or a similar probe raises questions about humanity's readiness to intercept and study such objects. Developing spacecraft capable of chasing interstellar probes involves understanding dark energy and innovative propulsion methods. Concepts like warp drives, though theoretical, offer possibilities. Warp bubbles, for instance, could propel spacecraft by manipulating space-time. However, creating a warp engine requires generating negative mass, a feat beyond current capabilities. In conclusion, Umiwamiwa's appearance in our solar system sparked excitement and curiosity. Whether an alien probe or a natural object, it highlights the need for continued exploration and technological advancements. By preparing for future interstellar visitors, humanity can deepen its understanding of the cosmos and potentially uncover extraordinary phenomena beyond our solar system. As we await the next interstellar guest, the lessons learned from Umiwamiwa's visit will guide our quest for knowledge about the universe.